three things I want to talk about this morning. One is upcycling your jars. And where do I get such a wonderful jar? By buying a giant jar of pickles. Now, if you think that pickles are too salty for you, like they are for me, you just replace the brine with water. That's all, and you leave them soaked for a while and they're not so salty anymore. Next subject, eating artichokes. Artichoke is very popular in Italian cuisine. Some people stuff bread stuffing under each leaf before they cook it. Some people take off the little thorns they cut it off each leaf before they cook it. I just wash it and boil it and when the leaves just fall off very easily when you touch them from the vegetable then that means it's done. Now each leaf has a vegetable on it. You just remove it with a spoon on the bottom of the leaf and there it is. And it has an amazing taste and I don't know how to describe it. Some people just remove that vegetable edible part with their front teeth. Now, I've cut this in half so I could show you the best part of the artichoke, which is the heart. Now, there's this fuzzy stuff here, like hairs. You just you know, you just take them off, you know, with your finger or with a spoon or something. And all around it is the meat of the artichoke. And it might seem like why go through so much trouble to get this tiny amount of vegetable, edible part, because it tastes so amazing. And, and if you try to uh, taste it in a simple way, like buying a little jar of it or a little can of it, it does not taste the same. Third thing I wanted to talk about, excuse my shaking hand. I have um, a mini, mini uh, toaster oven here. And you know, sometimes I just don't want to put on the big oven so I have this old pot handed down for, I don't know, two generations already. And it, it fits very nicely in there. If you can't f ha find a little pot like this, then you can use one of these. And this will also fit in a very mini toaster oven. It's a stainless steel pot for boiling water or an egg. Anyway, this particular recipe, um, it's a basic recipe that I changed, of course. This is half of the, the little pie. And I have a whole grain crust. I can put the uh, recipe below. And what I did was uh, press the crust in, and then I sli sliced bananas, and I sliced fresh pear, and then I poured jarred applesauce all over it. And I baked it for 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And it came out very nice. I had to control myself not to eat the whole thing yesterday because it tastes so good. So just a few tips for today. Keep trying, keep experimenting. And uh, I'll start working soon on writing the recipe below this video.